Welcome, everybody, um, to this uh, special uh, live stream where we're going to uh, go through a, uh, a magical little process uh, which really has uh, been a game changer in um, my uh, creative process and many others' creative process, and we're going to listen to um, a little bit of music. But before we do that, and, her, and here's Luke, by the way, for the, the Make Music uh, Make Music Life coach, um, and uh, we're actually going to listen to some of Luke's music, and and uh, uh, and a machinist, who, which is what we uh, music as well, in order to give uh, show you this uh, problem ID process, which is one of the things uh, that we use uh, in the machine. Uh, but what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to um, just run you through the different stages of this uh, uh, of this process. So let me just find the window, and just to be uh, just just to set the expectations a little, um, this is the f one of the first times I've ever run because I've got the uh, Luke and etc. on Zoom. And um, I'm live streaming on YouTube. So I've got precisely 10,458 windows and buttons uh, currently that I'm attempting to uh, remember where they all are and what, what they all do. So, um, so yeah, so just forgive, forgive me if there are any technical difficulties along uh, the way. Um, and, uh, yeah, Luke, if you could just sort of moderate the chat in YouTube, that would be awesome because I'd don't think I'm going to be able to have 11,458 windows uh, open um, and not lose my mind. So um, what is all this about? What is all this about? Well, what all this is about is if, like, like one of the things that people do is when they're listening to their music, they stop at their feelings about the music. Now, Luke, what's the problem with, if you're trying to improve a piece of music, stopping with your feelings about the music? There's many problems, but one of the biggest ones is that your feelings change, right? So- Even though the music doesn't this, change. Yeah, even though the music doesn't change, right? Even sorry, even um, if the music doesn't change, so so like let's say the music doesn't change, your feelings about that piece of music will will be changing over time. Yeah. So can you give an example of of why that is true? I mean, how that can you prove that to me with a piece of your music, maybe? I mean, not with a piece. Oh, but, well, yeah. To, to explain how, how that's true to someone. Yeah. So it's like if let's say I wake up one morning and a contractor is coming to my house and. And ripped out eighty percent of the floors, and found that nine actually happened. In my <laughs> uh, and then I go and listen to a piece of music. Um, it is my emotions at the time are a little uh, agitated, stressed, and so the music I'm hearing is going to give me a different feeling because my emotional state coming into it is dramatically different. Like I might want to listen to something very soothing to kind of change that state or i might actually want to listen to something that's much more like ah like you know raging like metal right it's the same as if i if i brush my teeth and then drink a soda and try to judge the taste of the soda right i've like, told my my uh, one of my kids charlie that so many times he just doesn't get it he says the taste is different and i'm like it's because of what you ate before. <laughs> I've done, I've right. told him so many times, didn't get it. So, so, um, thing is, Luke, well, why not just wait until you're in the mood, until you're in the right mood, then? Because then you got to figure out what the right mood is. <laughs> right? Well, I, <laughs> yeah, 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 go on, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, it, what is the right mood? If you're making, if you're trying to make like chill out music, do you have to be relaxed to do it? Are you only going to make music when you're relaxed? If you're trying to make amped up club music, are you not going to be able to write music in the morning when you're not feeling amped up? Um, well, and the other thing is, the other thing is, it's not just about mood. Yeah. So, so what you just mentioned, so something happening in your life, like something awful happening in your life, doesn't necessarily, like it's not, it's not as 
clear as if I'm angry, I can't make music, or if I'm feeling this way, I can't make music. There are so many different things, most of which we are not aware, we're not actually consciously aware, which impinge on, which affect our opinion of anything, not just music, of anything in any given moment, yeah, that we cannot be sure of our opinion in any given moment. Okay? And our opinion is made up of our feelings and our thoughts and the kind of that that sort of pattern that happens. You know, you have a feeling and you have a thought about the feeling and then that creates another feeling and, you know, all, all of that, right? It's, it's like, so our feelings and our thoughts about the music are to be distrusted in any, in any given moment. But, Mike, I hear you cry, how the heck are we supposed to progress? If we can't trust our opinion in any given moment, I mean, if you're if you're struggling to um, recognise what I'm talking about here, have you ever had the experience of listening to a piece of music, like in, uh, in a session, and going, "Oh, this is amazing! It's going to change my life. They're going to love it. I'm going to be excited. This is, this is it. I've done it. Finally!" Right? And then you 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 get to bed, and then you you come back to it the next day, and you listen to it, and you're like. Hang on, I must have opened the wrong. Uh, have I? I must have opened the wrong version. <laughs> this isn't. This is. I mean, this isn't the same. What? what this is terrible. <laughs> what? What was I thinking? If you've ever had anything like that or close to that, I mean, maybe not that extreme. I have, but then I've made a heck of a lot of music. So, if you any ever had that experience or the opposite experience, where you think something's terrible and you come back to it and actually it's pretty good, then you have just noticed incontrovertible proof of what we're talking about. Maybe not the reason why that happens, but that your opinion and that your thoughts and feelings about the music are unreliable. Now, that doesn't mean that we completely ignore them. Of course, we don't completely uh, ignore them. In fact, we are going to use them to be more clear, more objective about what we're doing. But we're going to do it in a way which at least sidestep some of the issues. Because if you just stop at your feelings about them, oh, I don't like it. I mean, there is the other problem. Well, what's the other problem with that? Aside from the fact that your feelings are always uh, uh, changing in terms of actually knowing what to do next. What, what's the problem with that, Luke? Oh, I don't like it. How does, how does, how does I don't like it help you move forward? or not help you move forward more, more accurately? Well, one of the issues is that you may have listened to something so many times that it's almost impossible for you to like it. Mm -hmm. That's what, right? that's one of the reasons. And again, that's another example of something not being about the music itself, affecting your opinion of the music. Like you could have listened to something 5,000 times. That's not going to change the quality of the music. It's the same quality. If it's the same piece of music, it's the same quality whether you listen to it once or 5,000 times. Right there is an example of something that's got nothing to do with the quality of the music that's affecting your opinion of it. So continue. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm again, I'm feeling yeah. very soapboxy this morning. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like eat, your, eat your favorite meal 12 meals in a row for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for like four days and then see how much you like that meal. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. And wait, so what was the initial question? Why yeah. is I don't like it not a reliable? Well, no. So, so how does stopping at I don't like it, how is that unhelpful in terms of knowing what to do next? In terms of how to improve it or how to fix the, you know, how to, how to make it so that you like it? Uh, well, A, it's, it's opening you up to infinity where it's not defining what it is about it that you don't like, right? It's just saying- There's no well, information. There's something wrong with it. Yeah, there's no information, right? Um, I feel, it's just like, I okay, just great. feel that I don't like it. Yeah, I just, just like, you know, exit, exit stage left. It's like, there's, there's zero, what, what are you gonna do with that? Just come up with random anything in order to do something about it? which is what most people do. Oh, no, I don't like it. Oh, I've got to get back to the state where I was dancing around like an idiot. 
I'm just going to try stuff. Oh, I know. I'm going to uh, find a another track, and I'm going to get inspired. Get inspired by that. In other words, copy it. Or, or I'm, I'm going to go on a YouTube or a tutorial and see if I can, uh, you know, make a bass uh, bass sound like Skrillex. That that'll do it. It's just it's just adding additional stuff. Now, if you have said to yourself when you're thinking about why is it that I don't like it, something like it's just something missing. It's just something missing. I don't know what it, it's just, 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 it's just missing something. Then you're likely to be falling into the trap we're talking about here. Yeah. And what I'm going to share with you now is a, a, a process for actually figuring out why you don't like it and what it is you don't like, because you're going to be focusing on what is there rather than all of the things that aren't there. Because if you say, I don't like it, there and there's something missing, so what can I put in? It's lit. There are infinite things that you can do if you don't refer to what is already there. Whereas if you listen to what is there and what is there is finite, it exists, it's already there. You can hear it coming out of the speakers. So you listen to that and you count what are the problems with what I am hearing, not, I don't like it. I'm going to try some stuff. <laughs> well, then you're actually focusing on the finite, not the infinite universe of possibilities. So not only do you save time, not only do you actually improve what is there, not only do you make a real difference to what is there, you're also upgrading your ability to improve Actually, the music that is there. Again, if you've if you've ever fallen into the trap of writing one of those tunes that is just constantly turning into another tune, yeah, it never ends. It's just just you're falling into this infinite options problem. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through uh, the process that I'm going to take Luke, Nico, and it seems uh, Ezo is coming on uh, uh, too. Um, so uh, I'm just going to run you through uh, the process before doing that. So I'm just going to um, remove Luke's beautiful face for now. And um, so <clears throat> one of the things um, I think it's worth saying at this point is that my definition of a problem is that a problem isn't a negative thing. It's something that can be improved. That I mean, you could call that a negative thing, I suppose, but it's something that could be improved, something that hasn't been done, something that you need to do, something that you've noticed that you want to do, basically so anything that can be improved or anything you don't know how to do. Okay. When you think of problems like that, which is actually the, it's more, more of a scientific way of thinking about problems than a, uh, emotional way of thinking about problems, it just, everything becomes a lot easier. And, you know, I think of uh, a problem more as something that either hasn't been done or as a puzzle or as something that can be improved. That's it. That's what a problem is. Okay. So when I say problems illuminate the way, that's what I mean. Because problems literally tell you, like, when you take that approach, problems tell you what to do next. Yeah, they're not something to be avoided. Okay. Um, and really, with this process, what you need to understand is it helps you actually improve your music simply by listening to the music and using your mind, rather than trying to find certainty in reference tracks, not that you can never use reference tracks at any point. I'm not saying that, but you just it, it, you use them rarely. Yeah, at, at certain points, just as a check, right? But reference tracks, tutorials, new gear, inspiration from other music, you know, copying uh, uh, other music. I suppose that's reference tracks. But, but it's a way of doing it simply by listening to your own music. Okay, so just quickly to uh, run through this. The first stage is to locate the problem. Where are 
the actual problems. Now, you might not need to, to do this as clearly, but sometimes it depends on how clear you are on R on the problems. If you're not quite sure where it is, oh, there's something missing, then you probably, the first step is to actually locate it. It's like you're kind of uh, zooming in, you're, you're focusing in, you're like a, a targeting system. Beep, 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 yeah, like that, okay? So where are the problems. So you listen to your uh, piece of music first, and then you get you think, well, where are the problems? Okay, don't worry about the creator ch checklist thing. That's from the uh, automatic uh, music machine. But essentially what you ask is, where are the problems on two kind of coordinates in the arrangement? So in other words, on the timeline, like that. Yeah, so where is it? Yeah. So for instance, I've given the example of in the last bar of every 16 bars of the main groove. Yeah, that's an example of, right, there's a problem there. And I'm just, just making up a random example, okay? And then second coordinate is on the, the um, that's the y-axis, the x-axis, yeah? Which is between what parts? So in other words, in my example, the kick and the bass, between the kick and the bass, yeah? So a way of defining the location is, in this example, there's a problem in the kick in the bass in the last bar of 16 bars of the main groove. Yeah? Now I'm getting, I'm being really, really detailed here in order to explain the process to you, okay? So you might go, oh God, I have to do this every, with every single problem that I ever do. No, you, you don't, but I'm just running you through it in really in depth so you understand the process, okay? So that's the first uh, step. Don't worry about these other instructions because they're from the uh, automatic music machine when I'm doing it in a workshop. So once you've located, well, actually, let me ask you, Luke, what's the reason you would need to first locate where the problems are? Why is that a good first step? It makes it tangible. It brings it down into what is already there versus I just don't feel it's just not very. I just, I just, I just don't like it. I don't know why there's something missing. It's like no, where? <laughs> yeah, I mean, th this process has come through me coaching multiple people through it, and it's like I, I've figured out that what you need to do first of all is say, well, where are they? Where are the problems? Okay. So the next step is a description of. The problems now again you might not depending on how much you know about the problem you might not need to do this step because sometimes it's 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 obvious right, right? You, you actually do already know what the problems are but if you don't know what the problems are the first step is to neutrally neutrally describe the problem without reference to why it's a problem it's just just but actually not neutrally describe the problem neutrally describe what is happening where that, in that location, right? So in other words, you, you're just describing what is happening. Now this is really, I've seen it happen a number of times where people say, well, I don't know what the problem is. And I literally just get them to describe what is happening. And in describing it, they're, oh, I know what the problem is. Yeah, so in other words, what is happening where the problems are? So you're not exactly, I misspoke before, you're not exactly describing the problem, although, you will be, you just won't know what it is. You're describing what is happening, neutrally. So not, for instance, I'm not feeling it. There's something missing in the groove. It loses the vibe as the bass line isn't working with the kick. Now, for some people, they might think that's a great problem description. It's a terrible problem description. That is good. That's a rabbit hole description of a problem, yeah? So instead, I would say, the kick does a small syncopated fill under the bass, which doesn't change. The difference between those two descriptions of a problem are huge. I'm not feeling it is a feeling. There's something missing is describing something that doesn't exist. In the groove is very is, is vague. It loses the ve it, the vibe could mean anything. And as the baseline isn't working with the kick, it's like saying the problem is the problem. <laughs> it's, like, it's like there's a problem. That's a problem. There's no, there's no explanation there. Okay. So by neutrally, what I've done here, the kick does a small syncopated fill under the bass, which doesn't change. You can see right there, it's a very simple, neutral description of what is happening without even saying anything about the problem. Why, Luke, is that an important step if you don't know what the problem is? 
I've never asked Luke these questions, by the way. So I'm putting him on the spot as usual in public, dropping him at the deep end. If you, if you, okay, so if you don't know what the problem is, why isn't it an important step to neutrally describe what is happening where you where you know that where you know the problem is if you don't know where it is if you don't know what it is sorry well it's all it's it's pinpointing it even more it's giving you exactly what's going on it's letting you make it something tangible versus something vague and unreal right it's giving you so and a by, lot of times just describe yeah, yeah yeah sorry go on yeah like by just describing it, you it just is like, oh, okay, it's, it's obvious now. It's almost too obvious after I've described it, what the issue yes. is. Yes. Right? So in other words, by describing what is happening, you are bringing to your consciousness all of the things that it could be. So you're, you're, you're leaving your internal world of monkey mind madness, right? If you're anything like me. Yeah, and you're simply describing what is actually there. The other thing it's doing is it's focusing, it's getting your mind off all of the things it isn't and all the things that are missing, and it's getting your mind onto what is actually there. Okay, so you actually, in order to describe what is happening, you need to listen to what is actually happening as well. Okay, so it's it's actually focusing on you, literally on where the problem is, even if you don't know what it is. Okay, so that's a really important uh, step as uh, well. And please bear in mind, if you're watching this and go, God, this is a very involved process. I have to do this every time. Yes, the first time, it, for a few times it will be. But by doing this over and over again, it's how you'll start to listen to your music. It's how you'll start. You'll just do, do this automatically. It just takes a little bit of thinking through first. Okay. Now, here's where it gets... Even more interesting. Explanation, right? So the next step is to explain why this is a problem. And a good explanation must have certain, it's got certain attributes, right? So this is this this is my definition, uh, partially borrowed uh, from David Deutsch, Deutsch uh, the, the uh, physicist. Uh, the, I think he, he's called the father of quantum theory, but anyway. A good, it's partially borrowed from him, but I've kind of added my own uh, bits and what have you. So a good explanation must, number one, focus on the music. So not, I'm not feeling it. That's not focusing on the music. That's focusing on your feelings. Okay. So you don't say, I'm not feeling it. It must focus on what exists. In other words, what is coming out of the speakers, what you are hearing, not what doesn't exist. So there's something missing is not a good explanation. Yeah, it must be specific. So not something like in the groove. That's not, I mean, it's more specific than in the tune. There's a problem in the tune. Yeah, we know that, but where? where? In the groove is better. Even better is between the kick and the bass. It's, it's specifically there, yeah? Be hard to vary. I'll come back to this one. This is confusing for some people. Um, but it's almost like the most important one, okay? So not it loses the vibe because that is very easy to vary and I'll come back to that in a second, okay? And it must have a reason why. To be honest with you, if you follow the other four things, focusing on the music, focusing on what, what exists, being specific and being hard to vary, then you will probably have a reason why already. So not the baseline isn't working with the kick because there you're saying the problem is the problem. It's like... There's no explanation. It's not working. There's a problem with the baseline and the kick. Well, wh why? There's no reason why. Yeah. So instead of I'm not feeling it, there's something missing in the groove. It loses the vibe because the baseline isn't working with the kick. Instead of that, a good explanation would be that syncopated kick fill every 16 bars of the main groove is clashing with the unchanging bass. There you can see we are focusing on the music, what exists with specific it's impossible to vary pretty much and it has a reason why so let me just before we actually listen to music and take luke uh, uh, nico and ezra through uh, this uh, process so that you actually see you know we actually get get some examples that you can uh, use yourself let's actually talk about the difference between specific and hard to vary and and i'm i'm again getting really deep on this because this is so important specific it means it's focusing on where the actual problem is. Again, the specific is really about the location. 
at the granular le le level of the problem. So in other words, groove is not specific enough in this example, right? Because you don't know where the actual problem is. It was somewhere in the groove. Well, where? In the baseline with the kick. I mean, you could get even more specific. You could say in this particular frequency range, but I think for a, a problem ID, saying between what parts is enough at this stage. Yeah, so specific is about where, and hard to vary is about clarity on what the problem is, okay? So the problem with something like it loses the vibe is it doesn't mean anything. It's infinitely variable. Like Luke, what's the vibe? The vibe, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like that feel, man. It's that thing that it, the track's just giving you. Yeah, it's just like that feeling of love and... You know, it's the uh, the bananas that, that fall down from the ceiling when the turtle whispers in my ear and says, this is great. I mean, literally, I could say, it doesn't mean anything. I could say, I don't like it in place of the, it doesn't, it's, there's no meaning. I mean, yeah, there is a kind of meaning. I don't like it. Yeah, but that it, it it's, what does it mean? <laughs> yeah, I could say it doesn't have the love. I could say there's no bananas there. I could say the turtle on the seventh ring of Saturn tells me it's bad. It, it, the, it, it doesn't mean it. Hard to vary is something that you, it, it explains the problem. In, in a sense, hard to vary is the bit that is the explanation. So that kick fill is clashing with the unchanging bass is hard to vary. It explains what the problem is. So Luke, can you uh, so, so can you kind of explain what you understand by this hard to vary idea, which is a, granted a tricky, challenging concept to uh, 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 get your head around when you first think about it? It's almost like the number of different ways that you could say a thing is limited. Yeah. Right? Like the number of different, uh, it, it's almost like if you think of like a, a Venn diagram or not a Venn diagram, but like a target, maybe. a circle. Well, if you think of a circle and inside that is number of ways of describing the thing, you want that circle to be small versus the well, entire universe. Hard to vary. <laughs> right. Yeah, hard to vary actually refers to the problem. Mm -hmm. But to say the vibe, it, it's got no reference to the actual problem. And there's, know, there's an infinite number of things you could say that would fall yeah, within you saying have to, the vibe. Yeah, you have to, unless you have defined what you mean by the vibe, it's infinitely variable. So what we're actually doing, and another way of putting it, is if you say it loses the vibe, right, then what we're doing here is defining what you mean by that, right? I mean, you know, I sometimes say, I oh, know it loses the vibe. And if I, but if I want to use that as a way to move forward, I have to tell, you know, I have to tell myself, okay, so what, what do I mean by that? I have to make it hard to vary because I could say it loses my pants or, you know, anything, yeah? yeah? So, so, so hopefully that is clear. Okay. So now I, we've gone very deep into uh, this process. We're actually going to listen to music and we're going to start with uh, Luke's music. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, did you say it was a solo piano track? So this is uh, Luke's solo automatic, piano. Luke's automatic music machine. Um, and it's got a beautiful um, back, backdrop here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, Check to see if he's done everything. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well done, Luke. Pat on back. Uh, oh, you're all good there. Uh, <laughs> I like that. What's it? Oh, this is the the emotion thing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Brilliant. Excellent. Um, I might have to nick that image. Brilliant. All right. So anyway, so let's have a listen to uh, this track. Um, and it's the top one, I presume. Ah, uh, yeah, should be. I think so. Okay. So. So yeah, just for anyone watching, this is uh, Trello, which is what we use to track what is going on in the automatic music machine. The Trello isn't the automatic music machine itself. It's the, the simply the, uh, the 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 software that we use to track what's going on because we're finishing so much uh, music that you need something like this. And you can see, 
you know, you make notes and you can create checklists and all kinds of stuff. So um, let's have a listen. Hopefully this won't be too loud. I'll keep my eye on the level. Can you hear that, Luke? Yeah, I can hear it. Might be coming out of the speakers, though. All right, let me just try it. Let me just try this. Uh, okay. Two six. Sorry about this, folks. Uh huh. No, that should be fine. I think it's okay. Uh, make sure I've got original sound. There we go. Yeah, it isn't coming out because I don't think it might just be Zoom being weird. Okay, so let's start again. Does it change much from this, is, or is this the recapitulation that... Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. It still goes on a little bit. Okay. Excellent. All right. So what we're going to do, so so what we're going to do is I'm going to get you, first of all, to just like focus on. A, oh, hang on. Sorry. Stop. I'm going to get you to focus on a problem. Okay. In the music. But I want you to choose the one which you're like, like the, a problem that you're not sure about what the problem is. Right. So that we can actually go through this process rather than, well, I know what the problem is there. You, you know, so, so let's actually, because this is the. I mean, this can help you get clarity on the problems that you already know about. And it actually makes you realize sometimes that actually the problem isn't what you think it is. But just so that we can go through the whole process, let's go for a problem that you just you just know that it's the kind of thing where you go, well, this is something missing. There's just something I don't like that, you know, that kind of real vague sense that something's not quite right. That kind of a problem. So first yeah. of all, so, so do, do, do you have something like that in that piece of music? Yeah, well, I mean, one, it's not played, and there's no dynamics. Oh yeah, so. so it's it's not there's not a performance there. It's it's like it's like it almost sounds like a MIDI file or something. 
Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. Totally minifying. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. But aside, aside from that, let's not worry about the performance. We're talking about the notes, Mozart. So uh, yeah, what? It's kind of like the ending. I wanted to like just like reach a higher height. You know what I mean? Uh, the ending. Kind of just like yeah, okay. well, towards the end. It's like it's like going to that, and it's like I wanted to get a little. It's like it needs to be more tension, and there needs to be like a bigger release. You know what I mean? All right, so let's let's get get super specific. When you say the ending, where does the ending start? <laughs> What's the beginning of the well, end? Probably, probably that like the last like sixteen ish bars, I think. All right, let me just. So let's just go there, and it's hard for me to say where the last sixteen bars are. Oh, is it the right one? Draft ten. I'm going to put it from there. Yeah, right. it's like it's just like uh, it's like wanting to like oh I just needed to do like some crazy thing. Oh, okay, so, so so you can hear Luke already there saying talking about what doesn't exist. Right. <laughs> so like mm -hmm. the instant thing, the in, like when I said what where's the problem, Luke instantly starts saying I want it to this, I want it to do that, I want it to do the other. So what we're doing yeah. is we're, at this point we're going to get there, but at this point we're going to avoid that. We're going to actually listen to what is happening in the music. So in terms of the location. It's at what point where would you say that the, the problem kind of begins? Is it where it starts going dead dum or a bit before that? Yeah, yeah, it's there. Dead yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so that's where it is. And so at that point, what is going so we've got the we've got the x-axis. Yeah, now we need to kind of figure out where I mean it's slightly different because you've only got one instrument at this point, but there still are two hands playing. So just just right. what the, the 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 uh, left hand is playing some kind of chord thing, and the yeah, right hand is going da -la -la, da -la -la, da -la -la. yeah. Mm -hmm. So can you just in a, in a little more, uh, in your own words describe neutrally what is happening there? Um, it's kind of like it's, it's rising with the right hand playing like an arpeggio, getting like more tense in chords and more dissonant. And kind of going away from the initial um, kind of harmony that is going on. Mm -hmm. And then the left hand is maintaining the same, it's maintaining that dissonance, but it's maintaining the same pattern that the left hands are playing for the entire thing. Okay. The entire piece. Okay. So you just neutrally described what is happening there. So mm -hmm. the left hand is maintaining the same chord pattern, so to speak. The harmony is becoming more dissonant and going away from the sort of center of gravity harmonically. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the at the same time, the right hand is going is playing a sort of a um, arpeggio, but it's got a bit of a sort of uh not quite a trill mordant or something like that you know like a -la -la -la. yeah that, that 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 little uh pattern ha which we haven't heard before mm -hmm. okay so explanation time so why is this a problem okay I mean, so, like, in, like instantly, because I didn't, I was very unclear about, I mean, I had the same feeling as you that it needs to do this, but uh, but I, in listening to that, until we described it, I wasn't sure why what existed was a problem. But as I did, as we described it, I now know why it's a problem. Insta I it just instantly came to me, but, but, but let's, let's just leave it with, with uh, you. So why, why is what we've just described a problem? So the purpose, can I go to the purpose? Of course, of yeah, that, that's a great place to go. Yeah, absolutely. 
So I kind of was thinking, okay, it's like the, the purpose is to express the tension between being like very disciplined and regimented and free and kind of like doing whatever you want. And so I actually, I started this when I was moderating a turbo track attack and I would yeah. have little bits and pieces and I couldn't hear what I was doing, but I was clicking it in. So it's kind of this like very regimented, like the most regimented thing where you're like on sheet music, like clicking in notes, but you're not hearing it. So you're kind of just like moving very quickly and kind of just doing whatever. So it's this like already there's that tension. Then like the main melody is kind of like, there's it's very like simple sort of harmonically, but then there's these little out notes that are kind of like stretching out. So it's like the whole time, the piece is kind of going out and out and out. And it's like, to really get the purpose of being like, let's see what it's like to have like discipline, but then be out, it doesn't go out enough if that makes sense. It like stays in. So then you might not get the idea that it was actually supposed to be out. It's like that outness is, is coming out throughout the piece, but the point where it's supposed to be the most out, kind of like the climax, where the left hand is maintaining that like, you know, strict structurally regimented thing, it doesn't actually peak out. It's like, it's wanting to get there, but it doesn't. Is that? Okay. So that's like the purpose. Right. 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 So, so, so in terms of, so in terms of, the, so you've now described the problem in terms of the purpose. It doesn't go, it doesn't do enough. It, it doesn't go far enough. Is that? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> how would you describe the problem or explain the problem? Sorry. Explain the problem in relation to the actual music, what we're actually hearing. The, the, the payoff climax is too tame. So is the payoff in this piece of music at the, the, the very end? It's meant to be, but it, it's like, it doesn't pay off. It doesn't. Yeah, sense. no, it's like a, it's definitely a, a Game of Thrones situation. You got yeah, going it's on like, here. Uh, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. something's about to happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're coming. This is the end of the, oh, all right. See you later. Oh, the, oh, oh, the, the, the thirteen-year-old just stabbed the evil guy. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Just in oh, case, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's not, <laughs> let's not spoil. So, yeah. So, okay. So, but ca so I, I actually want to kind of push you on this. Can you d like actually describe the problem in relation just to the like the music? So you're still not talking specifically about. The the the, right. uh, the the music. You again. You, you're in explaining the problem. I mean, <clears throat> you know. To be fair, you could probably go away with what we've already done and be much clearer on what you need to do. But I just want to, for the purposes of this, make sure that we're really doing the thing. Okay. So, in terms of the notes that exist, what I I explain the problem? <clears throat> the notes that come in on the last sixteen bars. build with a low amount of energy with without enough release but yeah that's still so like describing what isn't there yeah isn't so it? let me let, let me take a stab at this so the um in the last 16 bars of uh the uh, music the um left hand stays doing exactly the same thing as it has been doing uh, before, and uh, while the right hand and the harmony uh, are increasing uh, the tension, it uh, the music stops before the payoff has been reached. Yeah, and I mean, I could also say, and. And I don't know if this is is it like is something you want to change, but the, because the left hand is doing exactly the same thing, um, it's not expressing the uh, purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, it is interesting about this one is that before you told me what the purpose was and what was in your mind, for me, the the I would have explained the problem in the opposite way. Okay, but but you're like you're right in that now that you've told me what the purpose is and what it's meant like like now, what 
that is the problem. But just just if I'd have just listened to it as a piece of music without knowing the uh, purpose, and and again, what I'm about to say doesn't I, I'm not right about it, is that it changes. So the uh, you, you get basically harmonic changes and a figure in the right hand that you haven't heard before, which takes it off in a direction which never resolves. Mm -hmm. And, it, and it, right. it not only does it not ever resolve, but it stops before you've established that it doesn't resolve, if you like. It's okay not to resolve as long as you've established its non-resolution. Well, I think, yeah, I think yeah. it needs, I think it needs to resolve too. I, I think when I initially wrote it, it's kind of like, that's like filler. Cause I knew that like, there's going to be a resolution, but I knew it wasn't like, it's like the peak needs to go a little bit higher and then have like a big, like resolve. Cause it just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost like if you're going to do so many new things, like because changing the heart, you know, sort of making it more dissonant at the end, and that new figure in the right hand. If you're going to do that, you need you need to develop it more in some way. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. And then either bring it back or end it on a, a some kind of a, yeah. I, I mean, end it on some kind of a flourish. But I mean, so, 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 all right. So, so we're going to move on to Nico next, but just in terms of what I've just taken you through, what kind of difference has it made to, I mean, where were you before we kind of did this little conversation with, with this piece of music in terms of this, this, this little bit here? I mean, what were you kind of thinking? Um, I was kind of like, okay, I'm not really sure what to do with this, but I, I want to do just like a, a piano thing and be able to then like play it. Um, so where I was, was kind of like, okay, I don't think I thought of the purpose as much about, you know, like I, I knew what it was, but I hadn't really laid it out, you know, and then laying it out and saying it and then kind of thinking like, what was the initial intention has given me a lot of clarity on what I would like to happen with it. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cause it's kind of been one. It's like when I, when I started the track, there's like, tracks that I'm like consistently churning out. And this one's the one I'll touch like every few weeks and just kind of like just build, it's been built. I think I started this a long time ago and that's not how most of my pieces go. And how did you like, like uh, in, in actually identifying, like describing the problem and then explaining the problem. I mean, what, what, how has that changed what you're going to do next? I mean, it, it just, let, is it easier? Is it harder? Is it, you know, what? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like infinitely easier. <laughs> it's like there's well, because first off, when you just describe the purpose and you describe what is actually happening, just in both the place where the problem is and the piece, it's like it's almost like if you wrote like three pieces of a story, the climax can kind of like or the the be the beginning can kind of write itself. You know, it's like once you have those main parts, it's like okay, well, it's easy to see how they can tie together. Um, you know what I mean? And then, and so once you describe it, once you put it into words, once you actually define what is happening, it's almost like you're, I don't know, it's like forming the structure in your mind and on the paper. And, and then to complete that structure, it becomes a lot simpler. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I've noticed when I, when I do this with pieces of music, I'm not sure about is it increases my motivation for um, actually doing it as well. Oh, I know, yeah, I know I'm what sure I'm I supposed to feel more motivated. Yeah, it's just like, all right, I know what I need to do. So I'm going to go and do it. It's almost like there is motivation rather than uncertainty. You know, that's because what you're doing, what, what we're doing with this process is we're creating certainty without reference to external stuff, using your music, your ears, and your mind to create certainty rather than reference tracks or tutorials or gear or, you know, uh, whatever else it might be. Brilliant. All I right. do wonder. Yeah, go on. Yeah. I'd be curious because, you know, I've typed some of this stuff out and just speaking it does seem to have a big difference. So I might try, you know, when I'm doing Absolutely. this, actually dictating it because it is yeah. something, I don't know, when you say it out loud, it's so much, it's just yeah. different. It's different yeah. energy. No, absolutely. I mean, I think also uh, having someone ask the questions is also a good, it, it also <laughs> sort of <laughs> impro it improves, it, it improves things as well. But absolutely speaking out uh, feedback to yourself is, you know, self-feedback is great. All right, so let's move on to uh, Nico. Hello, Nico. Hey. Um, let me see if I can. There we go. Hello. All right, so 
I need to go to Nico's machine. So <clears throat> Nico shared his machine with me. Where is it? Here we go. And we're listening to the nine... uppermost song. Right. This one. In a sketchbook. The night the world spread <clears throat> up. I think it might have slowed down for me actually. Um <laughs> various different reasons anyway um so let's have a listen 1999 see if i can make it a bit louder i wasn't ready for the changes do we close a different night sorry it's a bit it's a bit quiet that's Probably because of the recording level. So and there's, I'm at my topmost uh, level. So I don't think there's a lot of... Let me just check, see if I can do something. Yeah. Anyway, so just listen carefully. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just listen carefully and I'll, 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 uh, I'll try and keep my mouth shut so that I don't uh, cover up the sound. All right. So... Nineteen ninety nine. I wasn't ready for the changes. Do we cause a different night? Fabulous. All right. So, um, again, you, you, may, you may well feel like there are multiple different problems with this uh, song. Um, I really like it, by the way. But anyway, so it's, so uh, you, you may well feel there are multiple different problems. But I like for, for the purposes of this uh, session now, I'd like you to focus on one which you don't know what the problem is. Yeah, just so that we can go through the whole uh, 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 process. So you're not sure about it, or maybe something like this is something missing, or you know that that kind of a thing. So, yeah. So, so what 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 is there like? Is there a problem like that? And if so, where is it located? So let's start with the location, uh, as as usual. Yeah, I think the the main problem has something to do with uh, the arc, and I feel like it's located somewhere around. The the chorus with which chorus or pre-chorus, which also sounds kind of like a uh, like a break, I guess. Okay, so, so it's um, so yeah. so the problem is located in the chorus area. Right, the part where I'm um sing I'm singing 1999 uh, in a more prominently way. Prominent okay, way. 
So do you know just do, we, do you know what minute that's at roughly? Yeah, about uh, should be about that, like fifty. Yeah, hey, how's about that? My one click, and it gets right there. Okay. Okay, so is it <clears throat> in terms of location, is it at the chorus before the chorus, or you know, was it where it I comes feel like in? it's I feel like it's at the end of the chorus, so uh, the way that the bass uh plays, so wait, me, let's see, so like... before we get there, so so at the end, mm -hmm. so is it is it in the second half? I'm, I'm being really, really kind of. Hmm, just in order it's to demonstrate the the, 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 um, the the process. So yeah, is it the it the second half of the chorus, mm -hmm. the second the last quarter of the of that chorus? Yeah, just at the very end. So the the last quarter quarter, I guess. Okay, the in, last mm -hmm. right, brilliant. And <clears throat> in terms of location, where like in terms of sort of the parts, yeah, because we've we've actually mm -hmm. identified where it is on the x axis, so to speak, on the timeline. Where is the problem? in the part like like is it in the vocal is it in the bass is it in the rhythm or is it in all of it where where is it located hmm hard to say cuz i'm feeling it's more like an arrangement problem but if i would have to choose i would probably say i mean you you can it's... say you can say all you can say the the, the whole thing if that's what mm -hmm. it is I, i'm not saying that it has you have to choose I mean, you do have to choose, but your choice could be it's all three parts. Because like, in a sense, an arrangement problem is still about certain parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So. Yeah. Um, if I have to decide, I would probably um, um, pinpoint uh, on the, um, on the, on the mid range and, on the uh, on the vocal line, the, the vocal melody more uh, specifically. Okay, so it's it's in the vocal. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. So, describe what is happening where the problem's located. Now, you don't only have to describe the vocal because you've just identified the vocal, but just describe what is happening at that point in the uh, music. So, at the end of the chorus, when the song goes back. Uh, into the in, into a verse although the, the second verse is kind of different than the first one from from the way the energy is uh, is running through the song I would call it the second verse um, and um, the vocal uh, line is kind of like pointing downward and losing energy I would guess so it's slowing down and then the verse starts. Um, what's happening in the What's happening in the hmm. other parts at that point? They are slowing down, I guess. Also, um, um, when you say they're slowing down, what exactly does that mean? Just describe because that's it's almost like a quality. Well, it's not quite a quality judgment, but it's a little bit. So just describe. <laughs> What is like when I say describe neutrally what is happening? The ideal thing is just I to was, say the bass line mm -hmm. is playing two notes. Yeah, you know, the bass line is playing two. I'm just making stuff up now, but you know, the bass line is playing two E's and then it goes down to five. You know, you can literally just talk about what the the, the notes are. Yeah, you know, go, go, go that simple. I mean, do you want me to play it again just to just to? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know, I don't have like that good hearing that I would know what kind of notes I play. So I'm yeah, no, you, like, don't, you don't have I to go that. But, but, but I'm then... just, I was giving in it, what I was trying to say is it's almost like that's the kind of thing rather than yeah. it's losing energy because that's in a sense mm -hmm. a quality judgment. You're making a judgment about what is happening rather than just saying what is happening. Yeah. Yeah. So so let, let just listen to it again and then describe what is happening at, at this point. Yeah. Actually, is that? You 
I'll go to one minute. Okay. Right. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, the 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 instrumental is almost removed, so I guess I cut out some some of the beat, and the the bass stops to play at least uh, uh, four numbers uh, um, before tran transitioning. Um, <laughs> it's right. You're allowed to use the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like the word transition. But, I don't, no, uh, no, I mean, I don't, I don't mind the word transitions when you're saying it's transitioning or there is a transition, but it's it's when people go, I just really need to work on my transitions, as if that's, <laughs> I don't know, it's, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, yeah, go. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, so uh, I just uniformly need to work on all of my transitions all the time. <laughs> I'm like yeah. really bad at transitions. What? What? Uh, so anyway, yeah. But anyway, so they, when it transitions, so 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 the 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 um the instruments come out and the vocal is solo. And what does the vocal mm -hmm. do? Well, it's um, I'm kind of singing with with uh, less intensity mm -hmm. intensity and. Um, Well, it's kind of rather monotonous, uh, monotonous, and it's like so. So you're being very, very just to be clear, and it's okay. It's, it's okay, but mm -hmm. just just to put uh, to, to feedback, reflect back. You're you're being very quality ish about this, mm -hmm. right? It's very monotonous, and it's this. Literally, just say what is happening. That's all you need to do in this stage. Just say what is happening. So, what is the vocal doing? The vocal is doing a couple of like small small note steps and um, it's not moving upwards or downwards in any particular more yeah, extreme so the, the, manner. The, the vocal is singing, uh, I think it's like just a couple of notes which are the same note, it's staying on the same note. Mm -hmm. So can you see the difference there? It's staying on the same note between it's monotonous or, or even it's not going up or down. I mean, that's talking about what doesn't exist, right? So, yeah. so but, but, but it's like, it is. It is singing two <coughs> notes on the. It, I don't you know that it. There are two notes that, that stay the same or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I didn't actually listen. I, I, yeah, I can't remember what, what what it was. Amazingly, but all right. So now we come on to the. And again, I'm being really, really kind of uh, OCD and anal about <laughs> about this with you just to demonstrate the process. Um. Uh, because I just I, it really helps to understand the difference between a description, a neutral description, and a value judgment. It's just mm -hmm. a really useful thing to know when you're making a value judgment and when you're just describing something that's happening. Yeah, it just allows you to just take the feelings out of it and just describe the problem neutrally. I mean, this is true in life as well. So, explanation: Why? Is what you've just described a problem? So now, now we're getting on to again. There's not really a, but there kind of is a quality judgment in a sense. But it's, again, it's a very neutral way of describing a problem. So mm -hmm. it's got to focus on the music. It's got to focus on what exists. You got to be specific, and it has to be hard to vary, right? So what what is the explanation for why what is there is a problem? I mean the uh, the story of the song is about the the feeling of time speeding up and like uh, pro progress happening more quickly so there could be a way of manifesting that in the music and currently that's not happening so i had like a feeling that i need to do something more intense but now that that i've like uh, um specified it uh, yeah i've I'm, I'm much clearer that yeah, maybe I could do something with the vocal line that um, signifies speeding up. And okay. currently, yeah. that's kind of currently that's kind of like a contrast between the purpose, the story, and what's happening in the music at that certain point. Brilliant. So, so j just to be clear, and again, I'm being very anal about this, just to 
demonstrate. Once again, Nico's done what most people do and jumped in with a solution mm. and not talked about the, not explained the problem. Because what it needs to do is this, right? So, so the purpose is describing. Sorry, could you just restate it? That the purpose is the purpose of this uh, piece of music is is what again? It's to. I think it says a metaphor for the modern world and how everything seems to accelerate around us. Okay, so the purpose of the piece of music is how everything seems to accelerate around us, and at this point, at the end of the chorus. What is happening? Yeah, I, I, um, everything is removed and it's more like slowing down. Okay. So, the feeling of slowing down, not, not really slowing down, obviously, from the uh, BPM point of view, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, because but everything's being removed happening. and less is, less is happening. Less is <laughs> happening. And, and what's the reason that's a problem at that point in this song? Because that needn't be a problem because you want contrast, right? So, so, why is that actually a problem at this point in the song? It's uh, first, it's the chorus, and um, you would expect doesn't always have to be, but you would expect that it has a bit more energy and something is released during the con uh, the, the chorus, and then afterwards, there's the second verse, which is kind of currently at the same energy level, I feel, and um, maybe even just that would be a solution, obviously, but maybe even just shortly. Uh, like making uh, shortly rising the energy level would make the the contrast between those two sections um, much more noticeable. Right. So this is the other thing that happens when you go through this process is that you do naturally solutions start popping out, which is fine. I mean, again, mm -hmm. this is the purpose of doing it. But the reason I keep on coming back to explaining the problem, well, it's, it's twofold. N num number one, when you can actually explain what the problem is that exists it narrows the number of options that you will take, that you will, it, it becomes obvious what solution to take. Really obvious. It's not just random, I don't know, I just don't like it. it yeah. But, but the second thing is that the more that you do this, the better you get at listening to music. Not, your, not only your own music, but definitely your own music <clears throat> and understanding what, like, just being, I, I know what the problem is. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so in comparison to sort of your uncertainty around what the problem was before and now. I mean, in terms of what you're going to do with this track now. I mean, what what's mm -hmm. the difference from before this conversation to after this conversation? Yeah, I mean, earlier on I knew that that wasn't the solution, but I've kind of had the desire of adding more stuff um uh because even before that, I was just stripping every, everything away to get like a more clearer point of view what the, the thing really is and what's important about the track. So I was like kind of had that temptation of just putting back uh, st uh, stuff back in, recording like saxophone and or, or guitar and just making everything bigger. But obviously that's uh, uh, a too loose description of uh, really progressing without just stumbling through the night so yeah i'm much clearer on on the 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 four bars where i need to do the actual work to get the the most out of uh, right. my time spent so without actually describing clearly yeah. and explaining the problem you could end up you know hiring musicians and just check i mean it's just you know or or in doing all kinds of stuff that you needn't do now imagine that in every problem of for the rest of your music career. Imagine the amount of music, time, energy, and pain that <laughs> that you could, if you don't do this, that you could you're sort of subjecting yourself to by taking the time to just go right. What is there? Why is it a problem? You're avoiding so many things and. <laughs> I mean, you can do those things if they're a good solution to the problem, right? But 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 you're avoiding this just feeling based thing. I mean, bear in mind in the earlier. I mean, we're talking about music that is kind of further on in the machine. Usually, you. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use this kind of a process to go from splurge to discover, for instance. It's almost the opposite process, right? Yeah. 
Um, but with the automatic music machine, this is about improving something that already exists, and it is basically getting getting it to that end point. So yeah, right. You know, we, it, this again, this is this is very much how to improve things. Whether it, you know, often it can be about mixing, it can be about you know uh, structure, it can be about things like that. But just to be clear, I wouldn't do as as I said, I wouldn't be doing this in discovery, which isn't. For people who don't know what discovery is, dis here in the automatic music machine, um, I'll just disappear. Uh, hang on, this one. What's going on? Why won't I disappear? Strange. There we go. Yes. So basically, the first stage of the machine is splurge. Second is uh, discover, where you're kind of splurging more to to find out what this wants to be. Yeah, so in this stage of the machine, I would not be doing this, what we're doing now. It's almost the opposite. You're just kind of trying stuff. What we're talking about now is much more around the done. It's like getting things to uh, uh, release. Yeah, or, or, or if it's in the sketchbook and you don't quite know what to do uh, with it. Brilliant. Yeah, I just All put right. that one back yeah. in the, sorry, I just yeah. put that one back in the sketchbook because to give it a bit more time, but now, um, yeah, I, I put it back out. Just well, there you go. There you go. So, so yeah, that's what happens as well. Like, it, yeah, instead of kind of going, okay, I just need to put it put it aside for now. By doing this kind of a process, you actually think, actually, no, I, I know what to do now. So then, it, you know, you can move it forward. Brilliant. Okay, right. so Cheers. let's move on to um, Ezra. Thank you, Nico. Thank Ezra, you. are you there? Hello? 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 I think I can hear you. I heard someone tapping something. No? Okay. Oh, there he is. Hello? No. Better? Yes. Um, oh, there he is. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Um, excellent. So, which track am I listening to in your machine? Um, can pick uh, the the first one on the Dan. Yes, the go, the go room. Yes, the go room. Okay. So before playing this, because it's five, uh, five minutes long, and we've got a couple more people in the queue, and I just want I want to get to them as quickly uh, as possible. So do you know, like, yeah. do you know roughly where in the track the problem is located, or do, or is it a very vague thing? I mean, we can listen to the whole thing if you want, but. It's uh, let's uh, start the listening and uh, okay. And I'll stop it when we uh, yeah, no worries. Um, hang on, so let me just. What did you say? No one can hear it. Really? It's coming through on the mic, uh, on my sound level. No one on the on YouTube. Yeah. Really? Also on SoundCloud, uh, if you want.
so sorry for the uh, the YouTube, uh, not YouTube, uh, Zoom uh, people. So the automatic music machinist. I don't know what's going. On. It's really strange. Everything is set correctly. I didn't change anything, and it kept on stopping, it's coming through on the uh, on the Zoom thing and starting randomly for no particular reason. Um, but anyway, it was coming through on uh, YouTube, as far as I can tell. So yeah, so, uh, uh, apologies about that, and hopefully you got enough of it. So, Ezra, where is the uh, problem located? Uh, in this case, I think it's uh, it's supposed to be minimalistic, but uh, I think like there is uh, not enough uh, the. It's like there's no uh, actual uh, time in the track that I can point it. It's like you know the track needs some something so, more in the background. <clears throat> oh, okay. So you're very very much falling into the the yeah. thing that we're avoiding. So you're ref <laughs> it's like you're not not refusing, <laughs> but you're but you're saying there's just something missing. It's just in, it's just there's something wrong with the track. Okay, so so let's just take a guess. So, so this is this is this is great because we're we you know this is how this is what to do. So let's just take a guess, like because there's there's probably going to be multiple different problems. Yeah. So what is? I mean, I'm not saying there is, definitely is, but there's probably going to be. I mean, there are always multiple problems. But where is the main problem located? If you were to take a guess, where where on the timeline? Uh -huh. All the beginning, it's like a too, too empty. Okay, so so at the very from the very beginning, is that is that where the the main problem with the track is at the moment? Um, if yeah, if we are uh, because it's like you know, I feel like there's missing uh, another. Uh, <laughs> Another it's missing, thought. it's missing, it's missing. Right. So so this is why this is why I'm coaching uh, this is why I wanted to do this is because I I'm 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 really really want you to focus on what exists. It's it's a, it's super important. It's going to save you so much time and, and and effort. It might be hard, but what uh, let, let, okay, so, so so let me make this simpler. Where would you say the main point of the track is? Let's listen to that. Right. So, what is the? Where is the? Where does the track kind of really happen? In the third minute. Okay. So let's go to the third minute. I mean, yes. in this, yes, in this, there. yeah, in this situation, I'm not saying that Ezra is not going to be able to make a good piece of music out of this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. But, but it is going to take as a, a lot longer and it's, well, it's just going to be luck if it happens quickly. Yeah, it will just, it'll be kind of random with the way he's currently thinking about this piece of music. Yeah. So we're, 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 by taking this time to have this conversation, he's going to be saving time and be much, much more effective. Okay. In actually improving this piece of music and do what it needs to do. All right. So let's listen. I'm just, just before minute three. Like the payoff. Okay, so so is that is that where the payoff is is meant to be? Yeah. Okay. So what is happening? What is happening? So describe. So, so also where where is so we've located the a problem. It's not maybe not the problem, but it's, we've located a problem at that point. Where is the where is the pro problem located in terms of the the y axis between what parts? In. I can describe what's happening. It's uh, another sound is uh, appearing for the first time. Okay, and what sound is that? Uh, I don't know how to call it. Uh, you, you can hear it. The, it's, uh, What's it sound it's like? 
It's like a bell. Uh, okay, so there's a bell sound that comes in. Yeah. Yeah. And what else happens? And before there were two voices and one of them I I removed. Okay, so so there are two voices that come out and a bell sound that comes in. Yeah. And what is the bell sound doing? Um, it's playing a very short uh, melody. Okay, it's playing a very short uh, melody. And what else is yeah. happening when that bell sound is playing? And the drums are, uh, have the most, uh, the percussion are like full. All the hi-hats and the kick and everything. Okay. So, so the percussion is full. The, the hi-hats and the kick are kind of uh, continuing to play. What else is happening at that point? Um, that's it. Okay, cool. So, so I mean, I'm just asking you the questions, uh, and in order to get you to describe uh, what is happening. Okay, so you've you've just described all of the things. So, why is is at this point that there a problem there? What 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 is the explanation for the problem? I mean, maybe I can uh, help you by asking you, what is the purpose of this track? Um, the purpose is uh, it's to create this uh, atmosphere of a bit uh, dark, and but still uh, uh, something that you can uh, dance and uh, not be too melodramatic about it. So it's like, uh, you know, it's it's dark, but there is a rhythm and we can dance like it's... Uh, um, when you say dark, is it like, I mean, could you use like, is it... So I'm just going to throw out some words like unsettling or... Um, uh, I mean, what, what what could you use to describe the? Uh, to describe dark, it's like a, what kind know, of like dark? Because it could be like really, really. I mean, you know, there's, the dark is very uh, sort of vague. Not like a killer black. It's just a, you know, not a sunrise or a rainbows and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. It's like, uh, so you so so again in terms of the purpose now you're describing what it isn't. <laughs> so, so, so. Pardon? What did you say? It's like I'm serious, like dark serious, but not really too much. Okay, so a little bit kind of somber. It's like, like let's say it's like a serious black in Harry Potter. Something like that. Okay, serious. Brilliant. All right, serious black in Harry Potter. Brilliant. Right now, now we've got well, now we've got something to to hold on to. All right. So in the context of 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 that, yeah. What what why is what is playing at this point a uh, problem? Maybe the sound uh, that is entering is too bright, too happy. Okay. It's possible. Right. So, yeah, and so this is another thing to bear in mind. Sometimes, and I think Ezra in this, is in this situation, if you're very, very unclear on what the problem is, sometimes you have to guess. And that's okay. Because it's better that it's, I mean, you know, all, all human knowledge is based on guesswork anyway. So, I mean, even when Nico was more certain about, or, you know, Luke was certain about, what he was uh, describing than than Ezra is, they were still really guessing because you, you've got to do the thing in order to find out if you're right. Okay, so in fact, there's no real difference. Even though Ezra feels more uncertain, he's still like making his a guess as much as Nico and Luke were. Okay, so the bell sound is. But, but you know, 
because of this process, I was like, uh, before we spoke, my intention was just to add a pad for all the track that will give this like atmosphere, like from uh, low, uh, but because we now talked and like you forced me to focus on something, we got to this, let's say calculated guess. Right. Right, which so, uh, yeah, and 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 so uh, that that the problem may well be in this bell sound. Yeah, it could be that I need to change it a bit. Okay, so 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 the problem with the bell sound might be that it's too bright. Is there anything else that the problem could be with the bell sound? And also, it doesn't just have to be about the bell sound. Is there anything else that might be the problem? The actual uh, melody, all all what is uh, projecting is not like in the purpose of this track. So, so the actual notes it's playing? Yeah. Okay, so They're what like is it about the notes that aren't projecting the purpose of the track? They are too melodic. Okay, it's too melodic. Yeah, they need to be more uh, dissonance, you know. Okay, brilliant. So in, other, so, so in essence, the explanation that we've come up with is the bell sound is too melodic and too bright for the purpose of the track. Okay, so as a result of that explanation, you can come up with a number of different solutions, yeah. right? So just for, 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 for the purposes of this, what, 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 what might be some of the things that you're going to do or going to try? Again, it's going to try because we're, we're guessing and experimenting. I am going to change, I'm going to choose another instrument and play the parts and try to play, you know, do a, a new part. Right, you're right, exactly. So you're going to do something and do something maybe that's slightly darker, more serious blackish. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I mean, in terms of like just going through the process where I was really for, I mean, you know, you were definitely in the, oh, it, it was the vague, oh, there's just something missing uh, 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 thing. Was it, what, what is the difference in so terms of the way that you're feeling about it and thinking about what you're going to do uh, next? I'm more decisive and I, and I more like, I want to do it. Like, I wasn't so happy to go and, uh, you know, face this problem. Right, because, because you didn't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay, when I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Right, exactly. But now you know what, what, not that you know, but you've guessed what the problem is. And, and now that I have to do, I will do it. You know, you, if you know what to do next, you do it. Exactly. Success is knowing what to do next. Brilliant. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Ezra. We got we, we, we got there. Um, I'll be interested to hear your uh, serious black club hit. Um, <laughs> so, all right, let's move on to uh, Ronnie. Hello, Ronnie. And I think this is the last one. Are you there, Ronnie? I don't know if Ronnie's there. Um, is Ronnie... Ronnie, are you there? Oh, hello. Uh, I can see Ronnie's face, but uh, we need to un unmute. Hang on. Got to unmute on Zoom, Ronnie, if possible. You know how to do that? Hello, Ronnie. Oh, there we go. You're unmuted. I can't hear you, though. Are you hello. talking? Oh, there we go. Yeah, hello. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so can you give me access to your automatic music machine? Me? Uh, yes, you. Um, hello, Ronnie. Um, so, hello. so yeah, what you do is you just click uh, invite here. You see that yeah. here? Yeah. I, I I think I already invited you. I uh, did you? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Maybe it was maybe it was further mm -hmm. down. Hang on. I think I did. Um, 
I don't see it. Oh, uh, right, okay. Let me, uh... Let's try, yeah, just Mike Monday, one word. It'll come through and then we can, we can get going. Okay. Um, Rick. Monday. Um, Mike Monday at. Just Mike, just Mike Monday, one word, and my little face thing will come up. Me looking into the distance in a philosophical manner. Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> <laughs> a younger me. There we go. All right, brilliant. So. Which is the track that we're listening to today? Um, oh, uh, well, I can't, I haven't, oh yeah, I have got the thing on there, so 20th of the first. Um, it's that one, Deeply Secret, but I've been working on it for about, since 2020. Uh, and the one at the top is not the latest version. It goes on forever and ever and ever. It's I just want to finish it. <laughs> so which I is the one? It. Which is the one you want to listen to now to to actually identify what the problem is? Um, the deeper secret. Yeah, but which, which of the attachments in there? Uh, the top one, Th this one. Oh right, okay. Um, well, I've just exported another the the latest, the one that's not so long. Okay, um, so if you will it, will it not let me put that in there? Yeah, yeah, no, you can drag it. You can drag it onto the card, and it'll appear through the magic, file. the magic of the internet. Just drag, yeah, well, drag, drag the WAV or the MP3 um, onto there, and then it'll happen. It'll come eventually. Um, okay, I'm just trying to try the WAV onto. Oh, there we go. All right. Sorry. Yeah, because that one goes on for about ten minutes. And ten minutes. <laughs> well, it's all right. We might not need to. We might not need to. Uh, this is the problem that I've been having with this. It just I can't make. There it. we go. All um, right. Is that not there? There you go. All right. And it might sound odd because I don't know how to mix and master. Don't, don't worry. Know. Don't worry, Brian. It's all good. We're, uh, we're, we're, that's that's uh, the purpose today, of. I've, this. Had a, I've had I've had a lower facelift today, so I look like big Carpaccio. That's why. <laughs> that's <all right. laughs> Excellent. All right, so let's have a let's have a listen and uh, let me just check. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, I'm sorry if it's not coming through on the um, on the Zoom that well. Um, but we'll see. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sounds terrible. Don't worry. Don't worry, Ryan. It's okay. <laughs> well, that sounds good. Well, oh, it's no, Do I? Do I or just... Tempo change. Alright, so there's a tempo change and that's that's not wrong. So it's about um one it's one twenty one on my timeline. I don't know what that is in sorry, one twenty right. if you oh, we'll, we'll pay it from here. We'll pay it from here, it's okay. I just think the tempo is this It's alright.
All right, brilliant. So you got you got the makings of a really good tune there. But I'm actually interested to know why is that in Discover? Um, because it keeps going because I can't move forward with it because it get it's so bored. It, it I like it, but I can't kind of move it forward. And I and I and I can't. I keep adding things to it. If you look at my Ableton file, there's so many things that I've tried to add, taken away. It's had pianos in there. It's had tribal chants in there. It's been in there for. But I really do like some of it's it. It's great, yeah, yeah. So, 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 like, it's got, it's got something. So, what we need to do, the reason that you've been adding things and changing things and going round and round in circles in it, is because you've not identified the problem. Yeah, and the no. pro yeah, yeah, and so, so, yeah, this is the ideal uh, kind of a kind of a piece of music for that. All right. So where. Oh, yeah. Or weeping stitches. That's right. Don't worry. <laughs> you're all good. I can turn off the camera if you want. If that makes it makes it no, easier no, for you. Right. you know, you're all good. Oh, you're all right. right. Yeah, yeah, I thought you would. I thought you were. So, 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 is your um, where is the problem in this version? Yeah. So let's not worry about any of the other versions. Yeah. In this version, where is the main? Just take a guess of where the problem is located on the timeline. First of all, so so in in the actual music. Uh, well, the the main problem for me is that it just because I can't. The main bit is the main bit, and 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 to make it longer it makes it go on and on and on. And if I add stuff to it, it doesn't work. And if I take, and then so. So what's being, first of all? What's the main bit according to you? As in where? Oh, do you want me to share my screen? Can you? Can no, it's all right. Just 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 describe it. Just oh, describe I, it for me. Just oh, describe it for okay. me. So so where yeah. What, the, where the sort of uh, disco bit came in, not the not the tempo change, but the first where that kind of shrieky disco sound came in, um, and that's when everything's playing, and that's the bit that I really like. But then, but then it I can't do anything else with it. I can't seem to change it to make it more interesting to the ear. So then it just goes on and on and on, and then I try and do a tempo change. I don't really think that's worth because I never tried that before, but I quite like. I was trying to, yeah, I think I, I don't, and also the way, if you saw my Ableton file, because I can't, I, I use, I just use loops for the drums, not for everything else, I've played it all in, but it's all on, it's all sitting in different, in the wrong plate, in the places, not on the bars. So yeah, I've managed to place stuff in it all over the place. Okay, so so, so yeah, so you're so, it up. so you're talking about multiple different problems here. So we're we're in a, in a situation with 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 this track where this has been you know you've tried lots of things. So it's like you're talking about mul multiple different problems. So the first step is to actually choose the the number one problem. It's almost like the the highest leverage problem is the way I describe it, which is almost like. Which is the most important problem that needs to be solved first, right? So, if though, and, and if you're not sure, just guess. So, what's the what's the fundamental problem with this piece of music that is, that is in a sense, and not the technical stuff, but which has caused the other problems, if you like? The fact that when it gets to the bit where everything's playing and where I really like it, it I I can't. There's nothing I can do to that section, so it, it either gets longer or it stays shorter. But that I want to kind of make that more of that section and make it keep it going for longer because I like that. That's the bit that's the bit that I really like. Do you know what I mean? But because it, I just don't know what to do. It okay, all right. all right. So let's have a listen. So, so let's sort of go um, back to it. Oh, where is it? Here we are. Deepest secret. So, do you remember on this file? Oh, no. Roughly where it was, about two minutes or something. On the far, well, what does forty-five mean at the top of the bar? Forty-five, bar forty-five. Oh God! What, uh, I don't know. I, I could, yeah, so. Oh. So when, this, when that bit comes on, that 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 shriek, that's when everything's playing, and I like that, but I can't do anything. I, I, don't, know. I don't know what else. To do. Right. So in other words, so in other words, everything up until that that bit is fine, but the problem comes after that bit. The problem comes because that bit is it is the two is uh, I can't. Well, yeah, yeah, no, no, so let's not talk about what you can't do because that's, again, focusing on what doesn't exist, right? right? So I'm just 
just go through the process, which is what what is happening at that point. So so the the that meow string comes in, yeah, yeah, yeah and it yeah, plays yeah, yeah. it plays for eight bars. At what point does it become a problem that that continues happening? For me, I feel like my I'd be bored. My ears would be bored because it's just like well, yeah. But when? But when exactly? So immediately, as soon as that thing comes in, or or I'd play it for about I don't know, I don't know for a bit, but a minute maybe max. And right. It needs to grab things and take things away. Well, yeah, yeah. So just... stop, stop. I'm just doing yeah, again. Your 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 step. This is what people do. So, but I just want you to go from one step to another because. The, like the way that you're describing the problem is the problem, right? Because you're not describing the problem. You're describing multiple different solutions. And it's almost like your what's happened with this piece of music is is a an expression of the way that you're describing the problem. You've tried stuff. And, oh, I've got to do this. It doesn't do that. It's like, right. So, <laughs> yeah. So let's just get like sort of bring it back to actually what exists, right? So at the a string... Uh, comes in and then let's say eight 16 bars later does anything change at that point no that's right the problem. right so it, it it keeps on playing but, but, but when i've tried to change it that i can't make anything happen like i can't like it right right so like so yeah so so let's not worry about what you've done before let's just focus on what's happening now right so what is playing at at the point, at that point, so at the sixteen bars after, let's call it just sixteen bars, just to to to. So, what what is playing at that point? Describe uh, what is happening. Describe exactly oh, what's God. happening. Oh well, everything's playing. The the vocals are playing, the drums are playing, and the drums are quite sort of off, a bit weird. But that's what I like about it as well. Right. So let's just. Good. Let's just actually play. Let's just actually play what is happening uh, there, and I want, and and then and then when I stop it, just describe the various different parts, right? Right, because that's a great, that's a great groove, right? That's that's that's, it's awesome. Sounds it uh, sounds great. But just describe, describe what's happening. Like literally describe. You know, everything is playing. Isn't it's, it's, describe oh, it as if I hadn't heard it. What, like each track. What mm -hmm. each track? Yeah. Right, okay, so there's uh, the deepest secret on my mind, which is two bits from the same track. Right. There's a. Um, uh, a sort of oriental. So where is that coming? Where is that DBC on your mind? Did like, like DBC on your mind? What would like? Before that, 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 that disco bit that I yeah. that I like that yeah. real bit. Yeah. Um. That starts that that starts quite early on. Just DP secret, and then on my mind comes in after that. Mm -hmm. And then um the there's like a really old school sounding synth that starts off at the beginning with like a sort of really deep bass, and they start off at the beginning. Um, and I've just, yeah, I just tried to lay, I've got all the sounds and I just start them at different times and then they all come together in one bit. But, and that's, that's the, and then I'm stuck. Right. And then, where, and then, uh, and where does the, the disco pew, uh, pa uh, thing happen? Sample. At number 45 on here. But yeah. But where in where. the bar, where, where in the bar? I mean, I, I know where it is, but I just want you to describe it. Where in the bar? What do you mean, where in the bar? Well, where in, like, where in the, so in, you, we've got eight bars. Is it bar one, bar four? Not where in the oh, bar, no, but no, what no. bar? Um, bar, well, 45. Yeah, but what I mean is in the pattern, right? So we've got a pattern. So in other words, pattern. you've got an eight, like an eight bar pattern. So it goes, let, let, let me just explain what I mean. So. If you saw the state of this file, you'd understand why I'm struggling to No, but you, but you can hear it. You don't need to do it. I mean, I think one of the problems might be that you're looking at it rather than listening to it. Right, okay. <laughs> so, so, so if you just turn off the Ableton thing, just shut the screen, like, shut, do, don't turn it off necessarily, but just get rid of it, right? And let's just use our ears rather than our eyes, okay? <laughs> Right, so 
where is the string, the the disco string thing, playing in relation to everything else? Let's let's take let's let's describe it like that. Where in space? In the space? No, where room? where in the timeline? <laughs> What's it playing at the same time as? Everything else. Everything's playing at that point. Every, that's well, no, no, thing. no, 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 no. It's, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, in a sense, it's almost like the whole universe is happening in that case at the same time. <laughs> but it's not. It's like I say one and then I say two. I haven't said one and two at the same time, although I have said them at the same time in another sense. So literally, like, be more granular. At what point in relation to the other parts? I mean, I'll just tell you what I, what I mean. The disco string thing is playing at the same time as the vocal. Yeah. Right? Please. Yes. Right? Whereas it, it doesn't necessarily have to be play, saying, playing at the same time as the vocal. It could be playing yeah. at a different time, for instance. Yeah? So one of the problems is, I think, from, from, from talking to you, is you're not describing what's happening. You're being very, very general. Well, just everything's playing. Well, <laughs> yeah. But in a sense, everything's always happening. It's almost like that, that. there's no information there. You've got to be more specific about what's happening. And I know it might feel like a waste of time because well, it's obvious. You heard it. I mean, you, you even said that. You heard it, <laughs> right? But in order to actually define the problem, you need to actually describe for yourself what is going on. Yeah, because Ooh. that points to where problems might be. Okay, so so let me let me kind of set the set, set the, the the terms of this. If you were to create a groove that you just wanted to listen to over and over again that didn't get boring, what might now? I'm not actually I'm actually going off off piece here from this problem explanation thing, but it, I think it would be useful in this situation. What might some ways? What are some ways that you make things hooky? Uh... I question and answers. Right. So, Which you already knew that, right? You already you, you you already knew that, didn't you? So, so you knew the question and answer thing, right? Yeah, that's so, that, that, all my music is very question and answer based. It's very right, simple. right. So, in this, so now describe this groove uh, again. So we've got the the bass and the rhythm, um, uh, 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 playing, you know, and and, and the synth. Yeah. yeah, and then we've got the disco string and the uh, vocal playing at the same time. Well, no, because yeah. they're not playing at the same time, because actually, like you say, there's the deep secret on my mind and then the disco string, so they're all answering each other all the time. R all right, well, let's have a time. listen again. <laughs> Is that what you mean? They're all. Are you asking me what's answering what? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't think they are. I don't actually. I should. I don't think that the. I mean, now we're getting to the explanation. I don't think that the vocal is answering the string, or the string is answering the vocal. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, maybe I don't understand question. And well, well, well. Listen, <laughs> listen. If it went. <laughs> Boo! On my mind. Yeah. That would be question and answer. At the moment, it's going, Deep you do, baby. <laughs> so th th they're the same thing. Deep you see, baby. Slightly after, it's very slightly after. Slightly after, it? but it's, I mean, yeah. it's still be, it's part answer. of the same figure, right? Oh, well. Deep you see, baby. Like, I, go, I mean, I could go, Deep you, I, that wouldn't be an answer because it's still playing. It's part of the same th thing. It's, it's part of the same thing. So if I go, Deep you see, I'm oh, sorry about my singing, but see, <laughs> Deep you see, baby. Boo! On my mind. Boo! Right? That's question and answer, but deep you boo isn't question right. and answer, right. is it? So the gap between the question and yeah. answer and now, makes it, uh, you now, have now, to be a gap. Yeah, I, I'm, so I, the only reason I'm, I'm saying this is that I'm not saying, I'm not suggesting that that's the solution necessarily, but I am explaining a problem that I'm hearing in that there isn't right. question and answer happening in those samples. Right, okay. Right. right. So, yeah, I thought yeah. they were. I thought they were. I thought that's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, but 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 it's because you've put the thing over the top of it. I mean, it, like it's hard. It, you, there are certain 
play bits where where you can have something playing over the top and it kind of is a question answer but in this case you've you've made it's just just question 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 in a sense yeah right, right. yeah i mean i mean deep blue, deep blue sea baby on my mind that's a question and an answer but if it went deep blue on my mind that wouldn't be a question and answer if you put if you put the sec if you put the on my mind over the top of the deep blue oh. C, that yeah, yeah. D- that that's a you've made a new question if you like i mean no, of course it, it, this is I'm made not, slightly more confusing no. this is made slightly more f- confusing by the fact that even deep blue C, arguably deep blue is a question and C is the answer so so in a sense okay. you in a sense you're right but in terms of a a groove right like, like a, a kind of eight bar pattern deep blue pew, i wouldn't call a question an answer i mean in this you're kind of right which is what makes it confusing but in the context the the the, the, the more the more zoomed out level because remember in identifying what the problem is the problem is that the groove sounds too repetitive so in other words it's repeating too often yes. yeah is, so yes. yeah yeah so so the the let's actually have a listen to how how often it is uh, repeating right. so it's endlessly Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say because it's got this unusual bar bar structure, which is great, by the way. I really, really, really love it. But it's it's repeating at at a kind of at this. I think one of the one of the explanations is that everything is repeating at the same. Uh, when I say frequency, I don't mean um, tonal frequency. I mean literally at the same um, speed. So in other words, it's it's a very very regular pattern. So that's another explanation for the problem is that everything is repeating in the same oh god uh what so in other words what what I'm saying is if you had everything that was at a four bar it was a four bar pattern and the kick was a four bar pattern and the hat was a four bar pattern and the melody was a four bar pattern and the bass line was a four bar pattern it would be at the same frequency i'm using the word frequency in that sense here Right, so it, it, it's not four bars because it's an unusual thing. But but the but everything is at the same. Yeah, it, it's repeating. At, oh, it's not frequency. I can't remember what the word is. There's a word for it. Anyway, it's it it's not tempo. It's. It's said rate. Yeah, yeah. So so it, it's the same, repeated over and over again. So that's another. Pro- so problem explanation no one. Never, no, not enough differentiation between the, uh, well, between if, the repetition. It, it, yeah, so if if this was, say, a four-bar pattern, yeah, if you had one part that was a six-bar pattern, one part that was an like one part that was, I mean, when I say a pattern, it doesn't have to be very complicated. It could just literally be, I mean, if just as, for an example, if you have a four-bar pattern, let's say I've got a four-bar pattern which goes, the and they, these are fast bars, so so that it doesn't take very long to do this. If if I have a four bar pattern, and it goes da 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 da, right? So each of those is a bar. Yeah, I can make that into an eight bar pattern very easily by doing this da 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 da, right? But literally adding one note on the second bar. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. My other tracks, but in this one, I, I, I can't. Uh, that's right, the right. So, 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 so that's the y- yeah. So without, think, breaking, without breaking it, because it's so because the rhythm is so right. Weird, so, it so, breaks. so I think explanation one is that the, um, that the, the, the main uh, samples aren't answering aren't answering each other. Yeah. An explanation two for the problem is that everything is repeating at the same regularity. Yeah, I wish yeah. I could. I'm going to remember it when I 
uh, go when I, when I score, there's a word for it. Anyway, is repeating at the same, uh, yeah, well, rate is another word. There's a, there's a, there's a thing. So, so, so everything is repeating at the same uh, regularity. Okay. Mm. So if that, I mean, again, I'm guessing at that as being the explanation. So if that is the explanation, what are th some things that you could try? Uh, try, um, yeah, changing the 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 bits that repeat so that they are they are answering each other maybe so that each so that there's a variation in the repeating bits. But like like I said, the, it's the the way that the rhythm is and the way that I've laid it out because it's not sitting, it doesn't sit on the grid at all because that that's why it's so it happened by accident. But now I can't when I try and shift it to sit correctly it doesn't and then yeah I'm don't yeah so i i like what it is what, what, what it is so what the, like in terms of actually doing this what i would what i would be doing is closing my eyes and singing when i want the thing to come in yeah right because what i think what you do like this is this is a, what you're doing is you're probably using your eyes and trying to make it look right but in this case mm -hmm. because i mean i can hear that it's a which is what is the great thing about this it's like it's very right, but so what I would what I would probably do is I would probably mute. So so I think I mean which is the part that you would like to remain the same. So again we're we're going off the problem now to uh, solutions just to be clear. But I just want to help Ronnie with this track <laughs> right now. So so yeah. So which is the which of those two? Let's start with the the disco sample and the vocal sample. Which is the sample that, that which is the one that you'd like to keep the same? As, or, well, not exactly. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. I'll move on to that next. But what, which is the one that you'd like to be? Which is the one that you're happy, most happy with? It's placement. That, that little snippet, the snippet, the, the snippet that you played. I like. That's the snippet that I really like. Yeah, but I'm just talking about the placement. We were going to change something. We're going to have to change something, right, in order to oh, solve this problem. Okay. So, so what? So, which of the vocal and the disco string sample? Which is the one that you? Which you? Like uh, uh, would don't would, would want to change least. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. Guess. Okay, Guess. Uh, the the disco sample because okay. because the vocals. Yeah. Oh, all right. So you want so so what I would what would like here, here's a, a way of doing this. Mute the vocal. Yeah, yeah. and then. Yeah. Listen to the groove with the disco sample where it is and just sing where you... So, like, close your eyes. Don't look at the screen. Like, close your eyes and just sing where you want the disco sample to be. The two disco samples, because there's two after it, right? So that okay. it's answering the okay. disco thing. So, I, I, like, I'm going to pretend that the, the vocal isn't there and just to, just to show you what I mean, right? <laughs> I'm my mind. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm not saying that's where to put it. I'm just saying that's what I would be doing if it wasn't playing. Yeah, I'd be literally singing it to myself. And then I would put it there on the screen and play it back and go, is that where I want it to be? No, without without looking at the screen again, because you're using your eyes to, to, oh, no, it's not lined up. So, and yeah, that's, that's confusing. Pattern. Yeah, I make, I make patterns. That I'm just, forget, just forget what it looks like. Close your eyes and listen. And where do where do I want that to be? And it and it unfortunately it's not allowed to be where it is because what we're trying to do is make a an answering phrase pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so now you've done that, right? So that's step one. Okay. Step two is to or, or could be to then alter. So, so let's say, so you've got a repeat and then you've got another repeat and then you've got another repeat and then you've got another repeat of that groove. So one, two, three, four. I don't know how long the bars are, but let's, th 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 let's say there are four repeats. What I, what a way, a very quick way of making it less repetitive would be to change something about either the placement or the way that you've played those samples in bars mm. two, and then another slight difference to bar two in bar four. So you've got version A of the groove. Just by changing these, like maybe even one of these samples, you've got version A of the groove. So, so it goes like this. It goes A, mm. 
B, A, C. Right. Right. And okay. the B and the C are created. So we've already done the entree phrase thing. And the B and the C are created by slight variations in what you do with those samples. Right. Okay. Either yeah. in placement, the way you've played them, or something else. I mean, or or, or something else, right? Because oh, from so I that's enough to make it interesting enough to then repeat it for longer, basically. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't actually know if I mean what what I'm saying is that we've identified the problem as being the, the, the there's no answering phrases going on. Well, I mean, there kind of is, but but not in the way yet. And number two, that the everything's repeating at the same frequency, not frequency as in uh, you know uh, sound mm. waves, but 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 the regularity rate, yeah. Um, and so by m taking those steps, we have addressed our uh, those problems. Now I don't know because I'm just li li I mean you know I'm not trying it, but I know that those are potentially things that could solve the problem. I don't know whether they will, of course, because I'm not, a, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not Mozart, <laughs> but they could, and they will certainly get you somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you, you're actually addressing what the, you know, what we've guessed the problem actually is, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. with so, so what you you do that you just do what what I've uh, suggested. You export the thing, leave it for a few days, come back to it, listen to it, and then see where you land. And then you do the same thing again. Right, so now is what the – well, actually, I don't know, version B of the uh, groove, I just don't – the way that those – you know, the changes that I've made don't quite work. Why don't they work? Well, let's explain what's going on. Okay, so, well, there's a little stuttery bit at the end, and that just sounds weird. Uh, mm. So, so again, you just repeat the same identification process, and I think – like in talking to you, uh, Ronnie, I think what it is is that you're not being specific enough about what is happening. Mm. In that you're, it's like, it's like you're hand waving away. It's like, well, I know what's happening. You, you can hear it, yes, but I want you describe it to yourself. I know it feels kind of superfluous or something that you don't need to do because you can hear it, but. So far, just hearing it has ended up, and you trying five thousand different things, and da, 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 you know. Um, so, so is that is that clearer now as to what as to what? Yeah, no, I can. I feel like I can. I feel like I've had a fresh pair of ears. I'll just try. I'm going to try exactly what you said with the variations of the of a two variations of a, and see how that goes. Great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, again, I'm not guaranteeing you that what I've just said will work in this case it depends what you do <laughs> and also but but so, but what we have done is been much clearer on what problem you're solving mm. and why it was a problem in the first place which again it's not that it always it like means you instantly get the right solution it just means that i mean what's the difference in your motivation to do something with this now compared to before we had this conversation? Oh, well, a lot more. I've, I, yeah, I, 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 it sits there and, I'm, and I do want to finish it. And I, I didn't know, I literally didn't know what to do next. Right. I, just, yeah, it's just trying to get out of the bad habits of making, you know, watching patterns and not, not describing things in detail and being really wishy-washy about the problem and talking about the solution instead of the problem. It's a completely different mindset. So yeah. I'm, I'm, and I've been doing this for doing it the wrong way for years. So, well, I'm not sure it's the, exactly the wrong way, <laughs> but because, <laughs> but, but I, I wouldn't. I, but it's a. I think this is a this is a better way that takes a bit of practice and training, but it's going to save you so much time in the future. I mean, I think the other thing, Ronnie, is, and I understand. I mean, the reason that I was saying close your eyes and you know sing it is because I've had tracks like that where for some reason things have just it just is all over the place. And to be honest with you, it's actually a good thing because you don't want to be making music with your eyes because your eyes aren't that good at listening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's forcing you to actually do what you want to be doing anyway, which is listening to the music rather than watching the music. Yes. Um, I mean, that's one of the reasons that I've, 
you know, change what, what I'm doing so that like my setup is, I don't sit, I mean, I have a screen, but, but I don't really look at it very much. Right. It's like, so it's, it's so that, so that I'm actually have to listen to uh, the music. So I think in general, maybe have moments where you are actually just not looking at it and, and, and listening to it. I think that would be really helpful too. Yeah. I, I watch it every time, I, you know, whenever I listen to a track, I'm watching it. So the visual is becoming a pattern in my head. As well, yeah. I think, it. I think just, yeah. just try and not watch it when you're listening to it if you like watch it in order to do something don't watch it to listen to it yeah yeah brilliant all right ronnie well uh hopefully that was helpful i'm I, I, i'll just say as a as, as i think i think it sounds great i like i like i'd like you to finish this as, uh, as well i think it's like strong it's just it's just got really something about it so yeah yeah excellent all right ronnie well thank you um so just finishing this up. Luke, are you there? I'm there. Hello. All right. So just to uh, finish up this uh, call, it's been going on. Wow, two and a half hours. Um, so, what were the takeaways that uh, from this uh, session that you've had? Maybe you know some new ways of thinking about it. Um, or even old ways of thinking about it that have just been clarified for you? Uh, it's kind of like there's there's a lot, well, maybe not a lot, but there's more mental effort that goes into identifying the problem that by doing so will reduce the overall mental effort required to uh, complete a track. Yeah, I mean, the objection, the but that, that so many people have to this is yeah but you know i just want to you know just do something cool you know i just like there's this idea that there's just some magical force that creates music to be honest with you even those who don't know they're doing this like the experts the brilliant musicians who don't know they're doing this are they, it's just under the hood and what i'm giving you here is a way of actually training yourself to do that it's like a short it's a shortcut to, to doing that. Yeah, it's it's like, and so often what we end up doing is going round in circles because we're just doing, we're, we're following, we're stopping at our feelings, right? And, you know, if you say, well, where's the space for inspiration and everything else? Well, that's what Splurge and Discover are for. It's not, you know, you, you can't accuse Mike Monday of, uh, only being about, you know, making quantity, right? And then also complain that we're thinking too hard about how to improve music. <laughs> it's like, you can't have it both ways. Which is it? Is, is, is Mike Monday just wanting you to just finish loads of crap? Or is Mike Monday wanting you to improve your music? Well, maybe, maybe he wants you to do both. But doing both at the appropriate time in the right context or, or, or in the appropriate context. So in other words, actually listening to the music and deciding what you want to do by focusing on the problems outside of the studio and then actually doing it and doing it freely inside of the studio. So um, great. Well, thank you for uh, hanging out and checking this out. It's been a, a, a long one. Um, but I really, I really think this is an absolutely essential part of the automatic music machine, um, and also um, just generally, just just finishing music, even if you don't use the uh, automatic music machine. So um, let's call that a uh, let's call that a wrap, and I will see you very soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye.